Young thug, Birdman, accused of making a deal with the prosecution. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I right, so, yeah. So, apparently, the bus driver from the Little Wayne bus shooting that involved Young Thug's manager and somehow Baby is upset. Okay, so basically, the bus driver that was involved, um, he was Lil Wayne's bus driver. For everybody that don't know, a while back, a couple of years ago, Lil Wayne's uh, bus is, is um, you know, when you go on tour, the tour bus, and it, it had gotten shot up. So uh, it turns out the individual in which they charged, you know, in ultimately he was convicted the conviction was overturned by the way um his name is uh jimmy winfrey um when that gentleman was ultimately uh, you know accused of the crime or whatever the case it was it was found out that it was found out that right after the shooting happened birdman either contacted um young thug and or contacted uh this jimmy winfrey guy and it kind of like alludes to the fact or oh, pardon me, it alludes to the idea that Birdman and Little Wayne, pardon me, Birdman and Young Thug might have had something to do with the shooting. Well, TMZ is reporting that the bus driver in the shooting is now saying that he believes that Birdman and Young, Duck, Young Thug struck a secret deal. Now, this is this is the thing about all of this remember a couple of days ago it was maybe like a week ago i'm not sure how many days ago it was um you had uh young chop coming out and he was talking about um the the, the people in the game they fake that i got this and this and that it's a lot of them it's like first of all <laughs> shout out the shout out to everybody from chirac all right the reason why i say this is is because they they really give no f's seriously they really give no f's and then okay what you talk about <laughs> so shout out to everybody from chirac but let's um <laughs> let's let's try not to you know be on chirac time though because they do a lot of shootouts over there and and, and peace and love anyway so uh apparently um young chop had called out a lot of rappers for possibly being fake some rappers for allegedly being gay and whatever the case might be um but I'm pretty sure he could have also had been alluding to the fact that some people, because remember, ever since the uh, Takashi 69 situation and uh, a couple of other situations like the Troy Av situation, this whole snitching thing has like came to come to a new level. So is is the uh, the driver <laughs> trying to allude that there was some kind of deal made? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. He's le he's alluding to there was some kind of secret deal made with the prosecutors that apparently young thug and um birdman have and that's why they're not being uh prosecuted with the gentleman who was found guilty and then the conviction was overturned or something along those lines and they're about to go in and try to i guess get a new conviction he's gonna get tried again so um i guess the bus driver's like yo why is he not because you know the bus driver's trying to sue and the easiest way for the bus driver to be able to sue anyone is for somebody to be found liable so the bus driver would love for Birdman and or Young Thug to be uh, involved in this particular case because then the bus driver who I believe he's saying he's having um, symptoms with his back. He's having like he's having uh, quite a few different different medical problems. Um, he's having like something wrong with his spinal cord. He's have has a rotator cuff for and he's like psychological injuries and and this is all being reported by TMZ anyway. You could go check out the TMZ article. Uh, it goes by the name of Bus Driving Little Wayne Shooting Suspects. 
uh, they struck secret deal. And and the thing about all of this is is that this dude is really messed up. So he might be trying to sue somebody, and he just don't have nobody to sue currently because um <laughs> he can't sue. I don't think he thinks he's not he's not gonna get anything if he sues Jimmy Winfrey. Like not trying to be disrespectful. I'm pretty sure you know he has his own. You know he's good, but I mean come on, he, he wants to. He probably wants to sue Birdman or Young Thug because he figures he could get a couple of million or a couple of hundred thousand out of that. Anyway, let me know what y'all guys think about this. Um, and is it just kind of peculiar that it was brought up at this at this time that it was like thrust back into the limelight? Because we are going through a period right now where you know snitching is at the forefront, and not just because of uh, Takashi Six Nine, but there's also a lot of allegations about other individuals out there. Um, Alpo came home uh, recently in the last couple of months, year or so, whatever the case might be, like, and he's been, you know, in Harlem. <laughs> so there's a lot of different uh, ways that people are talking about this particular angle. So let me know what y'all guys think about this. Do y'all think um, the bus driver's on to something and there was some kind of deal struck? Or do you think he's just, he just, you know, he, he just wants somebody to sue. He's like, come on, man, you got to hold these guys liable too. I'm trying to get some bucks. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama, it may be bigger than you and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?